The Tale of Two Bad Mice by Beatrix Potter. Once upon a time, there was a very beautiful doll's house. It was a red brick with white window, and it had a real mirror on the curtain, and a front door and a chimney. It belonged to two dolls called Lucinda and Jane. At last, it belonged to Lucinda, but she never owned the mills. Jane was a cook, but she never did any cook because the dinner had been bought and ready made in a box full of the serving. There were the two red lobster and a ham, a fish, a pudding. And some pears and orange. Orange. They were not come of the place, but they were especially beautiful. One morning, Lucinda and Jane had gone out of for a drive in the doors of Purporter. There was no money in the nursery, and it was very quiet. Presently, there was a little fumbling, scratching noise in a corner near the fireplace. Fireplace, where there was a hole on either in the scratching board. Tom Thumb put out his head for a moment and then popped it again. Tom Thumb was a mouse. A minute. A minute before Ward, Hunka Manka, his wife, put her head out too, and when, and when she was so that there was no one in the nursery, she not ventured off out on the old oracles under the coal box. The doll's house stood on at the another side of the fireplace. Tom Thumb and Hunka Monka went personally across the hunting. They pushed the front door. It was no fast. Tom Thumb and Hunka Monka went upstairs and peeped into a drawing room. They then they squeaked into joy with joy. Such a lovely dinner was laid out. Opened the table. There were the tin spoon and the linen knife and the forks and the two dolly chair also also convent. Tom Thumb set to work at once to cur- curve the ham. It was a beautiful shiny yellow, streaked with red. The knife crumbled out of and hurt him. He put his finger in his mouth. It is not a bullet enough. It is hard. You have to、uh, try, Hunka Manka. Hunka Manka stood up in her chair and chopped at the handle with another red knife. It's hard as the hands at the chin. Che- Cheese mongers said Hunka Manka. The ham broke off the plate with a jerk and rolled under the table. Under the table, let it alone. Let it alone," said Tom Thumb. "Give me some fish, Hunka Munka." Hunka Munka tried to bury with the Thai food in the spoon and turned. The fish was close to the dish. The, the The Tom Thumb lost his temper. He put the ham in the middle of the floor and hit it with the towel and with the shovel. Bang! Bang! Smash! Smash! The ham flew all into pieces for underneath the shiny place. In the, it was made of nothing but but plaster. Then there was no end of the lord rage, the disappointment, disappointment of Tom Thumb and Hunka Munka. 
They broke off the pudding, the lobster, the pears, and the orange. As the fish would not come off the plate, they put it into the red hot crackly paper fire in the kitchen. But it would not burn either. Tom saw when up the kitchen chimney and looked out at the top. There was no thought. While the Tom Thumb was up the chimney, Uncle Monka had another disappointment. She found some the tied tested, opened the tested, opened the desert lamb and rice coffee cycle. But when she turned it and upside down, there was nothing inside except red and blue beads. And those mice said to work to to do all the mischief they could, especially the Thompson. He took Jane's clothes, but out of the chest of the drawers, it her the bedroom, and he threw them out of the top floor window. But Hunger Monkey had a frugal mind. After pulling half the, the feather out of a loosened that bothered, she remembered that she herself was in one of the feather feather bed. With tons of stains, she carried the bolster down the stair and across the, the hurrying stair and across the hurdle. It was uh, difficult uh, to squeeze the bolter into the mouth hole, but they managed, managed it somehow. Then Uncle Uncle went back and and fetched a chair, a bookcase, a bird cage, and uh, several small old and an end. The bookcase and the uh, and the bird cage refused to go into into the mouth hole. Hunka Bunga left them behind the crow box and went to fetch a cradle. Hunka Bunga was just returning with another chair when suddenly there was a noise of talking outside open the landing. The mice rushed back to their holes and the dolls came into the nursery. One side met the eyes of Jane and Lucinda. Lucinda sat open the, the offset chicken stove and stir, stirred it, and Jane led on gas at the kitchen duster and smiled. But neither the, neither the of them made any remark. The bookcase and the birdcage were rescued from the another the crude the cradle. Cradle and son of the losing the clothes. She also the also had some the useful the put and the plant and several the other things. The little gold, the little girl that the those house belonged to said, "I will get through the dresses without the policeman." But the nurse said, "I will set the mouse trap." So that is the story of the two bad mice. But they were not so very, very naughty, after all, because Tom Thumb paid for everything he broke. He found a crooked fish, fish pants, other than the hunting the and the open Christmas Eve. He. <coughs> he and Hunka Monka stopped it into one of the stockings of stocking of Hunka and、uh, Lucinda and Jane, and very early every morning before anybody is awake, Hunka Monka came come to winter the dustpan and heard the broom the to sweep the doll's house, dolly's house, the end. Bye.